Exoskeletons are wearable robots aimed at assisting humans in various tasks. However, today's exoskeletons face a fundamental trade-off between high force density and transparency, which is defined as the ability to not impede the natural motion of the user. For instance, gear motors and serial elastic actuators are a widespread and cost-effective solution for classical exoskeletons, but they are limited by their force bandwidth while they are not back-drivable. To be transparent, actuators fundamentally require a high force bandwidth to update response times faster than what the humans can feel, which is around a minimum of 10 Hz. Transparency also requires that actuators should be backdrivable with and without control compensation. To mitigate the force transparency trade-off, we propose a novel power distribution system for exoskeletons. The system combines magnetorological clutches and low friction hydrostatic transmissions running along the human body to actuate every exoskeleton joint. The main objective of this paper is to investigate the transparency performance of the MR hydrostatic power distribution in terms of its force bandwidth and its back drivability with the aim of being used in future exoskeletons. In a centralized power unit, while the electric motor turns at a constant speed, each magnetorological clutch can transmit a variable amount of torque by modulating the current input. The torque transmitted by each clutch then pressurizes a master cylinder through a short cable. This pressure is then distributed to a slave cylinder, which leads to the displacement of an exoskeleton joint. Due to their high force bandwidth and very low output inertia, MR clutches are well suited for robotic devices that need a high level of transparency. The hydrostatic transmission is composed of custom rolling diaphragm cylinders designed to reduce friction. In order to evaluate the force bandwidth, and the back drivability of the system, experimental tests have been conducted on a one degree of freedom haptic joint. To evaluate the system bandwidth, we measure an empirical transfer function, and we obtain a natural frequency of 30 Hz, which is three times higher than the human force bandwidth. The system back drivability in terms of human interaction was quantified by measuring the end effector resistive forces for two conditions. In the first case, the haptic joystick is manually moved while MR clutches are maintained in slippage at a constant speed and absolutely no control signal is sent to the MR clutches. In this condition, a maximal backdrivable force of 11% of the maximum end effective force is recorded. In the second case, a simple PID closed loop force controller with a zero force command at the load cell is implemented and in this condition, the backdrivable force is further reduced to 4% of the maximum end effector force. In conclusion, the proposed power distribution system is highly transparent, either with or without control compensation.